What's happening, Nation? Pure Salvation here, otherwise known as the brilliant and talented Trap Master Pure. Anyways, welcome to 7 Essential Traps, where I will be featuring 7 traps of mine that work with the new update from Minecraft, which makes all the monsters smarter. To give some background information, Minecraft version 1.2 implemented a new mob pathfinding AI which made all the monsters a lot smarter and made them start avoiding pitfalls and traps in an effort to find the best path to get to the player, which ended up making a lot of traps obsolete. But that's not going to be a problem because I've built 7 traps that work with this AI and they're hopefully going to knock your socks off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a preview of each of these traps and if you find one you like, go ahead and pause the video and click on that full tutorial tab and that'll take you to a full tutorial on that trap teaching you everything you need to know about it like how to build it, how it works, the demonstration, and all the essential information you need to know about it. <laughs> That's funny, right? Because I said essential and this is seven essential traps, right? Right? All right, so our first trap for today is called the denier and this is what it looks like right here. It's a real simple one, doesn't take much to build it. And if I were a zombie and I just so happened to step on this pressure plate and I get knocked in, I'd try to swim up, but I can't because of these fence gates, so I drown. Fun stuff. However, what if the player himself just accidentally just stumbled upon one of these? Well, thanks to this little convenient exit I've placed right here, you can exit the trap without getting harmed. Perfect, right? So if you guys want to see a complete tutorial on how to build it, some practical application for it, and just some you know clever use of this trap, I highly recommend you check out the full tutorial and learn everything about this trap if you want to. So coming in at trap number two, we have falling bait and it utilizes the leer mechanics of Minecraft as well as fall damage to get the job done. So if I were a zombie or something similar, I'd get leered this way. I'd swim up this because that's my job. I'd get pushed this way and ultimately fall because that's just what fate wants me to do. So yeah. That's how it works, but there's definitely more than meets the eye when it comes to this trap, and I really highly recommend that you go ahead and watch the full tutorial on this, because there's a lot of things that I haven't explained, like why doesn't this trap work 100% of the time, and how to make it work 100% of the time, and why I chose to use trap doors here instead of normal doors. There's a lot of things you need to know, so my best advice is to go and watch the full tutorial. So trap number three for today is called the bait box and you need to do a little bit of parkour for the magic to happen but honestly it's not that big of a deal. If you know how to jump in Minecraft you'll be just fine. This is all you need to do. That's honestly it. That there, There's nothing else to it. And what this trap does is it is a leer trap so what you gotta do is you gotta bait some monsters with you, get them to follow you, do your little parkour and open the door, close it, bam, you're in. They fall into these water paths that you see around you. And they eventually hit the cactus in the middle. And they get poked to death. And all their goodies drop below. And if we go down this little ladder trap door thing right here, there's the collection point. You can get all the goodies and safely exit the trap. So that's fantastic. As always, if you click on the full tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about this trap, like how to build it, all the demonstrations, how it works, and all the good stuff about it. So go ahead and check it out. Trap number four for today is Easy Crush, and this is a self-sufficient trap, meaning that it doesn't require the player to do anything, and it just does the work on its own. So that's really, really cool. So you can just stick this you know, outside your house or something, out of aggro range and you just let the monsters fall into its deadly grasp and get crushed to death. So if I were a monster just you know lazily just walking around and I just happen to touch the water flow and get caught in its current I will get pushed into this and I would suffocate to death. Which is fantastic and even oh well yep you get the picture I'm, I'm stuck. As always the full tutorial is available to you if you want to learn how to build it as well as know everything about this trap and why these two fences are here and why they're different color. So that's there for you. For trap number five, we're reinventing the wheel. As you guys know, one of the most basic traps out there, the pitfall trap, has now become useless thanks to the new pathfinding AIs since monsters now just walk around it and completely ignore them. However, thanks to better pitfall, we now have a pitfall trap that actually works. So if I were being chased by some zombies or skeletons or creepers or something like that, 
you know, I would maneuver around this little trap right here and get them in a position so they would walk straight in, they'd fall in, they tried to swim up, but they can't because of the fence gates, and they die because they drown to death. So it's an unfortunate end for them. Now there's a lot of questions to be answered about this specific trap. For example, why does this one work when others don't? Why are these fence gates staggered in this weird position? Or if we go down to the collection point where we can get all the items, why are there pistons? Why? Well, all of that and more can be answered in the full tutorial, which I highly recommend you check out. This is definitely one of the good ones to check out, so definitely do that when you find the time. Trap number six is called Don't Beef It, which is a tribute to one of my favorite YouTubers, Vintage Beef. If you haven't heard of him, you should probably go and check him out. And this requires a bit of skill, some MLG Minecraft skills. So the reason why I called it Don't Beef It is if you screw up, you take damage. But what you do is if you're getting chased, you go into the trap, you jump, you right click, and you get into the cart safely. The mobs follow you, they jump, they try to get to you, but they can't, they fall in and you hit this handy little lever and you make them fall into the water, they get pushed into the lava and bam, they die. And I've even added a little collection point for you to grab all the goodies when the monsters die. And since I'm all about making traps completely safe for the player, oh, well first let me show you the exit. Right click, boom, you're out. So, since I'm all about making traps completely safe for the player, if you happen to fall in, that's no problem. You can still right click and get out safely. However, if you still just massively fail and you end up in this area, you know, you, would, you might think this is the end of the line for you, but there's not. There's a safety emergency exit right here for you, just in case the worst is to happen. So. This trap is pretty much foolproof, and it's great. So go ahead and check out the tutorial if you want to know all the information behind this trap. It's well worth it, and I suggest you go ahead and check out Vintage Beef while you're at it. Trap number seven is called Enderman's Bane, and this is a direct answer to the overwhelming request of an Enderman trap. So it is, I decided to create one for you guys. And just to clear things up, Bane means the cause of misery, which is just the perfect explanation for this trap, because this really is the cause of misery for Enderman. And the reason why I love this trap so much, and I'm really proud of it, is it's really, really, really compact compared to a lot of other Enderman traps that I've seen. So you can really do a lot of great things with this without having to you know, break your bank in terms of searching for items or blocks to build it with. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit this button and if you can kind of tell there's pistons out here, these pistons are going to close in and suffocate the endermen that come over here. Now there's a lot of unanswered questions but I'm going to go ahead and let the trap do the talking. So I'm going to turn it to game mode survival and show you guys what this does in action. So we're going to aggro these guys, you know, just like that. Let them come towards us, you know, look away from them. All good stuff, you know, just keep looking. Oh man, there are a lot. I, mean, I just turned this to peaceful right before I started recording this too. Anyways, so let's let this trap do its job. Now, time for the fun part. Oops, got a little bit too anxious there. But yeah, that's the beauty about this trap. That's why I'm using a button. And you're probably having a million questions of what you just saw. All I can say is watch the tutorial and you will be blown away. I really hope you will be because this trap is really, really great. It you know, it allows you to gain EXP without just completely killing the monster. And I'm I'm speechless on how I can, you know, explain it to you without giving it away. So my best advice to you is just watch the tutorial. So this concludes seven essential traps, and if you watched up to this point, congratulations, you are one step closer to becoming a trap master. Also, if you found this video entertaining or enjoyable or informative, 
please go ahead and hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And if you did find this video enjoyable, that's fine. Go ahead and dislike the video. I would just like some feedback so I know how many people enjoy it and want to see more and how many people don't like this. Also, for the 0.00001% of you who missed the like button in an attempt to click it, I hate to break it to you, but it's time to get a new mouse. Also, I have a ton of traps that I have yet to release, so if you guys want to see those, I really recommend that you subscribe so you don't miss out. With that said, I really hope you guys found this video entertaining, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, people, take care.